Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Shooting Saturday, where this week I'm going to show you how to do the day to night effect. Um, essentially, it's taking a shot that you recorded during the day with um, overhead sunlight and converting that into something that looks like it was shot around 8 or 9 o'clock after sundown. This effect is extremely easy to achieve, and there's just a few little tips and tricks that I'm going to have for you guys just to really sell the effect to make sure that it looks really nice. So here we are inside of Final Cut Pro 10, and before we do anything to our clip in terms of color, um, I went ahead and enabled stabilization, and I recommend you do this too if you um, shot your shot handheld. But since I've already done that, um, we can go ahead and begin with color. So let's go over to our color adjustment number one. Now this is my shot before I've done anything to it. And this is the overall look that we're going to try to achieve here um, with just some simple adjustments. So let's go ahead and begin. Our first step is to take our mid-tones and drop them just below right here, okay? Now, it increased a little bit of yellow tinge to the shot, but this will all add up later, so just bear with me. Take your highlights and bring them very high to give it that midnight blue vibe. And that's all we have to do for color. Then, head over to exposure, okay? You want to drop your shadows, really drop your midtones. This is what really sells the shot. And then drop the highlights, okay? The goal is to not have very much detail inside of these trees here so that it really looks like there's some intense shadowing going on here which will really, really help sell the effect. You could stop here and um, call it done. We can go ahead and head over to Motion 5 if you have that editor. If not, thank you guys so much for watching Shooting Saturday and I'll see you next week. But if you want to continue, you can just keep watching the video. So here we are inside of Motion 5, and what we need to do first is come over to the library, go to Motion Tracking, and Analyze Motion. We're going to drop that on top of our Day to Night, which is the clip that we um, exported from Final Cut Pro 10 earlier on. So what you need to do now is go ahead and select Day to Night, come over to the Inspector, then go to track one and then pick our tracking point. So I'm going to go ahead and put mine on one of these tree leaves here. Then we analyze. Now after that's done, I'll come back and explain the rest. So now that we have um, tracked our motion, you should have this funky looking, almost like um, a funky roller coaster or a graph, if you will. Now, what you need to do now is go ahead and bring in um, a picture of the moon. That's what we're doing here. And now this picture of the moon is very special because as you can see, it's just the moon. There isn't any white or black here. It's because it's a PNG, which sometimes PNGs um, can have transparent backgrounds. So to get this special image, you can go ahead and head over to Google and type in moon PNG or moon transparent background to get one of these special images that are great for video so that you can add them into things like this. So what you're going to do is resize it and then position the moon where you want it to be. Okay. Um, all you need to do now is just a few more simple steps. So you click on the moon, right? We go back over to our library, motion tracking, match move, bring that on top of the moon. You following me here? Then we click on our moon again, then inspector, behaviors, okay, right here. Now, this analyze motion, we drag this on top. Then a gear will show up, and now the moon is tracked. So, this sounds very confusing, but in the end, you should have something extremely cool like this right here. So in the end, I hope that this tutorial helped out with you guys a lot. Um, I'm extremely impressed with how I can take a shot of the day and just make it look like it was shot at night. So. 
I just think that's really cool. Thank you guys so much for watching Shooting Saturday, and I'll see you later.